five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, the first mission to dock with the orbiting International Space Station. Booster officers confirms good separation of the solid rocket boosters. This was our other great journey. But the view from space has changed as well since we first went to the moon. Today's astronauts seem to be looking in a different direction. I met astronaut Julie Payette at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. So Julie, this is a mock-up of the real thing, is it? I mean, is it all done to scale? It's actually a scale, a scale uh -huh. mock-up. Uh, this is to really show what the cargo bay looks like, but we, when we train here in this particular facility, we really use the front part of the cockpit and the mid-deck. You see very well the configuration of the mid-deck, the way it would be. Building involved. 9. It's where you practice how to spend days or months in space. There are a number of things that strike you. Hey, here I am, going at 28,000 kilometers an hour around the Earth, with it passing by at my feet. It's very big at your feet, because you're only 400 kilometers above. But at the same time, it appears to you as one entity. It's, it's unique. It's, it's one planet. It's clear to you. It's very round. It's one planet. So you're awed first by, by the splendor, by the beauty of the planet. And then you look down and you realize that this one planet is the only thing we have. Every time the sun comes up and down, and for us going around the Earth once every hour and a half is 16 times a day. And every time you see it very well, that thin, thin, thin layer just above the surface, and we're way above that thin layer. And that's the atmosphere of the Earth. That is it, a few tens or dozen kilometers. That is it. Below that is life, and above that is nothing. It's vacuum. 